Kevin, welcome to World Blockchain Summit Dubai. One of the editions, we go way, way back, actually. Way back. Absolutely. How are you being treated in Dubai, being back here? Like you said, way, way back, right? I think uh, 2017, 18 was the first World Blockchain Summit. We met there, and then obviously COVID and everything. Look, Dubai is Dubai. Most beautiful hospitality, events, cleanliness, everything is great. We're back at WBS, and I think this is the biggest one. I think this has got to be the biggest one. Obviously, we have the crypto hype and everything, but uh, good to be back, man. Good to be back. Yeah, good to have you also up here. You flew in last night, so, you know, um, respect for that you're being here uh, at the conference. Um, could you let me know? I mean, we've, you know, last one and a half years, we've not seen much of each other. Yeah. Uh, what, ha what have you been up to? Yeah, yeah. So our company, Jima Group, uh, in the last year and a half, we really uh, diversified into gaming. Gaming blockchain, it's something been a passion of ours. We've owned gaming assets that are pure play esports, but we've never combined it with blockchain or crypto or play to earn, game five. So about 18 months ago, Jima Group uh, invested and now became the largest shareholder of the second listed company on the London Stock Exchange, which is Semper Fortis Esports. And I'm the CEO of Semper Fortis, and Jima Group is the largest shareholder. And 80% of what we do is blockchain gaming. And we're investing in blockchain games. We're we're building them, and our co-founder, Nolan Bushnell, who created Atari in 1970, is now full circling into gaming blockchain. So that, that's amazing. It's amazing. That's a really amazing story. I mean, congratulations, first of all, uh, being able to uh, go that way all out. And uh, yeah, you're now located in, in London, in the UK. In London. How, how, is, how is the UK, bro? Look, we bounce around, right? Like we, we've seen each other in uh, Amsterdam. We've seen each other. Like, that's the beauty of like the world and then the crypto world, right? It's it's you go where the pockets of like hot innovations are. Unfortunately, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. The UK is not a pocket of innovation for tech. We've known that for a long time. But then gaming, blockchain, these are buzzwords, and the investors are there. Right, and the investors like blockchain, they like crypto. These are buzzwords, right? Yeah. And alternative investments. But now you got gaming and blockchain, which is billion dollar companies, Axie, Gala Games. This is not a joke anymore. There's no such thing as a scam gaming project because they're just games. See, that's the problem with crypto is that they got a bad name for so long. So the UK, I feel like, is a little bit more sophisticated and they understand um, that a little bit. But it's tough, man. London's tough, you know? <laughs> I want to know your opinion on NFTs, non-fungible tokens. What, what, what's, your, what's your view on it? Oh man, you asked the, the million dollar question. Look, I don't like the first two letters. It's a token. At the end of the day, we've been doing this for 20 years. Let's be very honest. We've been building tokens as a native instrument for any company. Reward token from uh, Marriott Rewards. That's a token in its own native system. But then this non-fungible stuff came in and art took a real front and center. Absolutely. I'm always going to go back to gaming. You want to look at the real meaning of an NFT? Go to the in-game assets. Look at the secondary share, uh, look at the secondary markets and look at the volume of transactions. We're not talking about like a skin that was a one of 10,000. We're talking about an in-game sword that has millions of users, millions and all around the world. So in-game assets for NFTs is the most exciting part for me. And I'll take it one further in tokenizing real estate tokenizing real estate, and if you put every unit as a unit of an NFT, super amazing product that you can bake into that NFT different things. So I tried to divert that question by not answering what the hell I think an NFT is, but I think that it's beyond what we're seeing now, and the next crypto winter might be fueled by the bust in the current NFT market. That's the prediction I'm willing to make. All right. Thank you so much, Kevin, for this interview. Always a pleasure having you here in Dubai. So, uh, yeah, let's party on. Look, at, look out for Prem as usual. This is a four year, five years almost next year going on. That's just crazy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to, you know, still be together. We're still here. And that's it. We're still here. We're still here. So let's rock.